Good morning and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We ask that all continue to use hand sanitizers and maintain a distance of two meters in the communion line. The wearing of masks is encouraged. Our presider this morning is Father Barton. And our gathering chant is number 644, O God, our help in ages past, 644 in our CBW3. Please stand. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And good morning. Good morning, Father. Welcome us again. We gather as God's people to celebrate these sacred mysteries. As we do so, we pause and reflect upon our life's journey. And we bring before our God those areas that exist in our lives, which have been a cause of maybe of division or pain, for ourselves or for anybody else. And we ask the Lord to grant us forgiveness, to grant us healing. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good, 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> from Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and from Timothy, our brother. To the church of God that is in Corinth, including all the saints throughout Acacia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, blessed, sorry, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to Psalm 34, taste and see that the Lord is good.
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they would inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, you and I have often heard the Beatitudes. Matthew's Gospel from the Sermon on the Mount. They are provided by Christ to give us a pattern for Christian living. And we hear them often, and they're repeated often in Scripture, I guess, to remind us that it is how we live life that is important. It is in the living of life to be sure the presence and power of God, who is active in our words and in our actions, and how we reach out to one another and how we serve one another, how we teach what is right and what is just, what is honorable, and what is truth. It's a challenge for all of us to give good example. Blessed indeed are poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn out of love. Blessed are those who seek justice and righteousness. Those who live in the world conscious that they are the power and the presence of the living God. We represent the God of consolation, the God of mercy, the God who wishes to console people and to remind us that we have the capacity to bring about change, to bring light into darkness, to deal with unjust situations, to live life conscious that God walks with us, that God is present there, and Jesus promises to be with us until the end of the world. As we once again today listen to the Beatitudes, we remind ourselves that we are invited to share life fully. We're invited to witness to the power and presence of God. We're invite, invited <coughs> Excuse me, to have empathy, we're invited to seek justice, to act justly, and each and every day to walk tenderly with our God. Amen. Please stand. We again take a moment to offer our prayers of intercession before our God. As always, we pray for the church throughout the world. The Lord guide it and sustain it, 
and we especially pray for the recovery of Pope Francis from his surgery, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the world in which we live, that justice may be seen, that men and women of faith will act justly. We seek peaceful resolutions to difficulties. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for ourselves. Do we reflect upon the Beatitudes and bear witness to Christ in our daily lives? We pray to the Lord. Lord for the sick, the needy, the afflicted, those struggling in any way, that the power of God's Spirit be with them to bring them healing and strength, especially those whom we wish to remember at this time. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died, that they may share in the fullness of God's presence and eternal glory, especially those whom our Eucharist has offered this morning, Len Stacy, Madigan Fleming, and Mike Coombs. You may wish to remember others. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, as we gather before you, we again acknowledge your presence and action in our lives and ask you to receive these prayers which we make through Christ our Lord. given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and please with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory 
as with one voice we acclaim. gifts we pray for sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Brothers and 
sisters of Christ and one another, we pray to the Father in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we offer you all the sign of that peace. Peace. Behold Jesus Christ, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first. Please maintain a two meter distance in the communion line and sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you are unable to receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing. body of Christ. The body of Christ. Our communion chant is 6.6 in our Celebrate in Song, One Love Released, 6.6. One bread, one body, one cup, one 
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go once again into peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. And have a great day. Thank you, Father, and you. Our missioning chant, number 471, in our CBW3, Blessed are the pure in heart, 471. Blessed are the pure. 